Hello viewers today i am starting a new book that is mathematics for science group 9th class and my name is imran <coughs> and i am a teacher in government darul furqan high school begumpura lahore pakistan this is unit 1 and the name of this unit is matrices and determinants here exercise 1.1 question number 1 find the order of the following matrices i want to find the order of the matrices this is the matrix here we see that it has two rows this is one row and this is the second row and two lines horizontal lines are called two rows and uh, two vertical columns so here we see that the number of rows is 2 and the number of columns is 2 as well so order of matrix a can be written as number of rows multiplied by the number of columns that is 2 times 2 it can also be if uh, we do not use this root notation we can always use this notation that is 2 by 2 so order of matrix a is 2 by 2 same is the case with this matrix there is a matrix b here this is a matrix b it has also two rows and two columns so number of rows equals 2 number of columns equals 2 so the order of matrix b is also 2 by 2 we are 2 times 2 here <coughs> we have C. It has only one row but two columns. So number of rows is one and number of columns is two. So the order of matrix C is one by two. Remember that we always write the number of rows first, then the number of columns, and the multiplication sign in between. Actually, we don't multiply it. We just write it as. or we can write it uh, replace it with by 1 by 2 here another one question d part it has three rows three lines each number is written in a different line so there are three rows and only one column so the number of rows is 3 and the number of columns is 1 so order of d is 3 by 1 remember that we write number of rows first then we write the number of columns so it is 3 times 1 or 3 by 1 here we have e e is Three rows and two columns, so the order is three by two, or three times two. Simple. Here we have F matrix. It it has only one row and one column. So number of rows is one and number of columns is one. So the order is one by one. or one times one <coughs> now we have g here it has three rows and three columns so its order should be 3 by 3 as is the case 
here its order is 3 by 3 now we have h it has two rows and three columns number of rows is 2 and number of columns is 3 what will be the order of this matrix yeah its mat its order is 2 by 3 as you can see here its order is 2 times 3 or 2 by 3 now we move to the next question this question is question number 2 which of the following matrices are equal here a is equal to 3 b is equal to 3 5 c equals 5 minus 2 b equals 5 3 b equals 4 0 6 2 f 2 6 g 3 minus 1 3 plus 3 H four zero six two I three three plus two. So these are the matrices, and we want to show which matrices are equal. Here we can see that A and C can be regarded as equal, as five minus two produces three, and it also has three. So A and C are equal. Here we can see that. Uh, for the two matrices to be equal their order should be the same they have the same order they should have the same order and their corresponding elements should also be the same that is it has 3 and it should also have 3 only so order of matrix a is 1 by 1 1 row and 1 column and order of matrix C is also one by one, and this was the first condition for the matrices to be equal. And the second condition is that their corresponding elements should also be equal. That is, corresponding elements of A, of matrix A and matrix C should be equal, which are equal. So the matrices are matrix A and matrix C are equal. moving to the next one part <clears throat> here we can observe that i and b are also equal matrix i here is matrix i have written it b and i are equal b was this 3 5 and i was this 3 and 3 plus 2 So three plus two also produces five. So it is also three five. Here the order of B is one row and two columns, and order of I is also one row and two columns. So the first condition is satisfied, and uh, their corresponding elements. The second condition is that their corresponding elements should also be equal, which happens to be equal, as you can see. Their orders are one row and two columns. so 1 times 2 both have the same order and their cor corresponding elements are also equal hence the matrices are equal that is matrix b is equal to matrix i i and now we have three matrices equaling each other that is e h and j <coughs> E is equal to four zero six two. Order of matrix E is two rows and two columns. And H also the same, two rows and two columns. The so order of matrix H is also two by two or two times two. And order of J, let's see what J comes out to be. There. Is the matrix J two plus two is four, two minus two is zero, and two plus four is six. 
and 2 plus 0 is 2. So order of J is also 2 rows and 2 columns. So its order is also 2 by 2. So you can see that the order of all these matrices is 2 by 2. Order of matrix E equals order of matrix H equals order of matrix J. And their corresponding elements are also equal. It has 4 in the first place. And H also has a 4 in the first place. And E also have a 4 in the first place. And 0 here, 0 here, 6 here, 6 here, 2 here, 2 here. So, both the conditions are satisfied. So, we can say that the matrices are equal. The matrices are equal. That is corresponding elements of matrix E, matrix H and matrix J are also equal. Hence, matrix E equals matrix H equals matrix J. Now we come to another question which is the last one of our exercise. That is find the values of A, B, C and D which satisfy the matrix equation. Here the two matrices are equal, are shown equal. If the two matrices are equal, then their corresponding elements must be equal. Their orders must be equal. We see it has two rows and two columns. It also has two rows and two columns. So their corresponding elements must be equal if the matrices are equal. Remembering this, keeping this in mind, we can write equations. We can write equations that A plus C is equal to 0. That is, this A plus C is equal to this 0 and A plus 2B is equal to minus 7 and C minus 1 is, should, uh, is equal to 3 and 4D minus 6 is equal to 2D. <coughs> so, we have 4 equations. A plus C equals 0, A plus 2 B equals minus 7, C minus 1 equals 3, 4 D minus 6 equals 2 D. From equation 3, we can find the value of C. That is C minus 1 equals 3. If I add plus 1 on both sides, this plus 1 and minus 1 cancels out and I get C as a subject on the left hand side and I get 4 on the right hand side. So this is the answer of C. From equation 1, equation 1 says a plus c equals 0, put the value of c here. If I put the value of c here, that is 4 and after subtracting 4 from both sides, this 4 minus 4 and plus 4 cancels out and a comes out to be negative 4. Now, <coughs> From equation 2, that is a plus 2b is equal to minus 7. I can put the value of a here, that is minus 4. And adding plus 4 on both sides, this 4 and minus 4 cancels out. And I get minus 3 on the right hand side. Now, I want b, the value of b. So, I have divided both sides with 2 by 2. So this 2 cancels out and I get B which is equal to minus 3 over 2. From equation 4, equation 4 is this 4D minus 6 is equal to 2D. I want the value of D for that. I am adding 6 on both sides so that this 6, negative 6 cancels out from here and it goes to the other side. Now I want this 2D to be here and its sign will change from positive to negative that is alternatively I have subtracted minus 2D from both sides this 2D and minus 2D plus 2D cancels out and I got 6 here and 4D minus 2D is 2D. Now I can divide 2D by 2 on both sides I can divide uh, the whole equation by 2. So this 2 cancels out, I get d as a subject and 2 3s are 6. So 
B equals 3 is my final answer and uh, that's all no more questions to show end of exercise 1.1 with this we come to the end of this lecture thanks for watching keep watching my videos it will be an encouragement for me to make more better quality videos and you are viewing the lectures extensively thanks for that do subscribe as well uh, it will be a great help for my cause thanks for watching it's goodbye from mr imran